Today, electronics is everywhere. We are becoming more attached to our electronic devices and using these devices in ways that we could not imagine possible two decades ago. Electronics help us communicate, stay close to our loved ones, be more efficient at work and even at staying healthy. Due to the advances that we have in hardware and software, we are quickly moving towards in-home care and also constant monitoring of our vital signs. But if we look at the way we design and uh, build electronics, we will see that uh, the rate of which we uh, fabricate and assemble electronics is moving much slower pace than the way we use the electronics. You see that discrete components are still assembled into hard boards and at the end the, the devices that we carry have a rigid format. So what if we started designing electronics in a different way? What if electronics were flexible, lightweight, conformal to the body? How would that change the diagnostic methods that we have today? So at Berkeley, we are bringing this vision of flexible lightweight electronics to magnetic resonance imaging. MRI is, um, is a non-invasive technique that provides high contrast, high resolution of soft tissue and also functional information without exposing patients to harmful radiation. But MRI data acquisition, uh, data acquisition speeds and signal to noise ratio is limited, which leads to very long scans. We are pioneering in ways of making these scans a lot faster by using parallel imaging and compressed sampling. But in the end, is the lack of well-fitted coils, receive coils that are in the top of the patient here, that are the limiting factor for the high resolution that you want for the image. And this is especially bad for, for children, uh, which is an application that we are focusing on at Berkeley. The problem is that these coils are heavy, they do not match the anatomy very well, they are really hard to place and not tolerated by children. So our vision is that by combining flexible electronics with very tight fitting garments could change this MRI paradigm. It, we could provide MRI scans for children that are comfortable, higher resolution and faster. The technique that we use to prototype these MRI coils for children is screen printing. Screen printing is the technique that is used in the graphic arts and it's also used to transfer uh, image to t-shirts. But in our case, instead of using color pigments uh, to prepare these MRI coils, we use electronic materials. We print metal inks to form the loop of the coil and dielectric inks to form the capacitor. And together, this loop and the capacitors form the RF receiver, uh, receive coil of, for MRI. To get uh, body coverage, we are printing arrays of coils and we show that we maintain the overall flexibility on this array format and arrays like this one can be used to image an infant or also to image the spine of an adult with the exact same design. Uh, we have shown that this type of arrays uh, can be placed in close proximity to the body and we compare apples to apples, you see that the flexible arrays result in much, much better image quality. So we believe that we can scale up this technology to, uh, to fit adults, to fit adults very tightly. Uh, but we chose to choose children, uh, to start with children, because right now children uh, represent a population that's not served by MRI. They are uh, often referred to CT scans where they are exposed to radiation, to harm of, uh, harmful radiation, or uh, general anesthesia is given to them. So it's clear that from cancer detection to MRI, moving from this paradigm of one size fits all will be highly beneficial. We believe that by having these close tight uh, MRI coils, we could provide much better image quality more comfort and also improve the workflow at our hospitals. So I'll finish here by asking ourselves uh, the question, how could this picture change two decades from now? 
what would be the benefits of having flexible, well-fitting electronics to rehabilitation, healthcare, and medical diagnostics? Thank you.